Santa Elena, San Ignacio. It's a twin town. Across the way is San Ignacio. Right now I'm in Santa Elena currently. That cement slab over there that's known as the infamous Botois. That was where um when this country was being formed or better known as British Honduras or part of the Guatemalan territory uh, this is how the um, the baymen used to get the mahogany and uh, produce out and in and that's the famous boat off right there they used to dock the boats there unfortunately it has changed because they cut the mound but their photograph of stuff logging and documenting that that's the famous boat wharf right there between boat trees you see that black slide tubing um, slip and slide um, tubing right there uh, when that's to give a brief history of what this area is all about And actually this is the root and foundation of uh, where La Ruta Maya first got started by um, the Harrison family, the late great uh, Richard Harrison, the ambassador of the environment, Mr. Richard Harrison, got the idea of starting La Ruta Maya because it takes a four day journey to ship the produce from here. They used to ship logwood and all that stuff out to the Lee City via uh, the Mopan, Makal, and Belize Old River. But this is the Makal River right here. So anything from this region or area would get float down the river or out via boat. And the community has changed their picnic table, barbecue pits, and stuff like that. And this is known, used to be known as the San, Sandy Bay. This used to be a beach back in the day now it's just a grass grass lawn we used to have kids swim and play down there and enjoy the San Ignacio Santa Elena area looks amazing by the way and that pink building across there that's the library that used to be the old um, meat market for San Ignacio Santa Elena that used to be where the butchers uh, had their stalls and you go in there and get meat there were some vegetable stalls but it was primarily the meat market now they convert it into the library and then this right there needs a lot of explanation that's the Hawksworth Bridge famous Hawksworth Bridge built in 1949 or finished in 1949 Elena area Rodriguez barbecue right here that's one of the Rodriguez brothers have that to come hang out. This is the other Rodriguez barbecue right there. That's Mr. Victor Valdez store back in the day. There's a few uh, nice places where you can go and have uh, cold bears. For foreigners in Santa Elena 
it was never known to be that kind of place where you could come and get drinks and party and have a good time so there's not a whole lot and um, but they have a lot of um, guest house and hotels here in Santa Elena so I guess it's work in progress the bakery this is a tortilla factory. You get flour tortilla, corn tortillas here primarily. And then this is a meat shop, butcher meat shop, actually August meat shop. They used to have a stall at the old library. Now they do it at home. and woman shine musician very eccentric man right there mr. Daly I'm going across the wooden bridge into San Ignacio area now come check out the dread for your Roots, Rasta Roots item. This used to be the old uh, landfill. Now they cleaned it up and moved it. And this is the market. Where you can come get vegetables and produce on Saturday and Tuesdays. Going left to the downtown. This is the famous Norman Brasta um, Stadium. Market, small today. They have adventure tours for backpackers. Welcome center area and terminal. Check out the cistern for any of your Rasta produce. Get your hair braided too. That's the Burns Avenue, famous Burns Avenue. Right there. You go down there and there are a couple nice places to go and have drinks and food. There are a couple of nice restaurants on the other streets behind, to the right of me, behind that's the famous Blue Angels that we just snaked by. There's Western Union and stuff there. The yellow building is the courthouse and police station for sending Nasser Santa Elena area. This is a downtown park. This is also a section where the uh, Belize Easter Classic comes in. Cross the Hawksworth Bridge and then do a 3, 180 right here and then go back to Belize City. Great place right here. Kohaksana for dinner, lunch and breakfast.
back to the downtown area just wanted to maybe do a quick interview good morning sister you want to i'm doing a video just to like advertising like just give your name and just tell them what you do go ahead Cleo Pasolo and this is my work, Cleo's hair braiding and needle fantasy. Alright, thank you and good luck. Hopefully I get you some. Thank you. <laughs> center there's a couple um nice places there right here establishment where you could get uh, food actually don't know the names of the, those places because I've only been there once Moody. And this gentleman right here is the owner of Dave Adventure Tours. Dave Adventure Tours. You ever in town? Come check out Dave. Say hi. What's up, bud? How are the family doing? Everything cool, man. The family could make it again now with this. Yeah. No, they're, they're still coming. I haven't found a place for them as yet. But though. after this thing calm down? No, they're coming for more after it's going to calm down. Okay, just doing a quick video too. The poster, like you said, you guys want assistant like yeah, that's not gonna really happen. So this is what I'm doing right here. Just All tell right. him who you are. Hey man, I'm David, man. David Adventure Tours. Right? And everything has clamped down, and we hope that we get some assistance because mm -hmm. otherwise things gonna get drastic. All, All right. right, respecting man. Yeah, he's helping me find a um, house for my brother. He's bringing his uh, three kids for uh, possibly a two month vacation from the US. And that's one of the things I was struggling to find them a, a place because he wants it to be like how he's used to in North America, AC, fully furnished and all that good stuff. And it's kind of tough uh, to find him a place like that because they're limited and most of those places don't do short-term leasing they do six months and and up and some of them only do a year one year and up CK's sunset place and now we're heading out to branch mouth we can do a trail hike down here and come swimming and it links you to Santa Familia and Bully Tree area company this is the branch mount road it's 
gonna get a little bumpy there's a nice place down here that you can go and hang out it's a man-made uh, rec recreational park go down there and hang out swim sunbathe if you want to have a couple drinks and party you can come right here it's another place it's a great place to come and enjoy and relax I'm primarily just trying to like do a video of like different things that you can do you know and how far you can go and normally the video is like 14 plus minutes but you know from going from downtown to here hiking might be if you're walking might be like maybe a 20 minute walk to the branch mouth area if you take a taxi it's like five minutes or less and if you're on a bicycle and you're cruising, it'll be about 15 minutes or less. All this is striking distance of the downtown area of San Ignacio and Santa Elena. You can come out here in the morning. There's, it's great for birding. Um, if you're traveling, one of those tourists who is traveling and you know you love fishing and you have, you know, you're gonna have a a time where you're gonna have free create like a free opportunity for yourself where you're just going to relax and unwind you can pack a small fishing pole a collapsible fishing pole and you can come and swim and hang out and fish and enjoy yourself because this is the point that uh, interlocks the Maya and the Mopan uh, Maya Mopan and the Makal River so right now the all that you see right here the shrubbery the grass, the bush, and the wild cane. That's the Macal River right down there. To the right of me. And then when I come and do it to the center, this brings me to the Branch Mouth Road. When I do it to the left there, just beyond the hedge, that is the Mopan River. You can see those trees? That's the Mopan River right there. That's it right there. That's the Macau River down there. There's just little snippets where you get to see the Macau on your hike or your drive or your bike down here. And then this right here is the Mopan. And you can come and do birding, you can bring your pole and find areas where you can fish on both sides most people who are expert at you know fishing they'll know exactly where to go I am a new guy at starting to doing fishing and birding and I enjoy them and have fun it's a great experience that right there is the Makal this is the Mokan unfortunately the bridge that they had constructed to connect the village across collapsed and the tree fell and it seems like one tree fell and hit the other tree and then they both crashed on top of the, the bridge this used to be a pedestrian bridge and they would have like motorcyclists and bicyclists that would come across from the village over on that side It's under repair. And this is Branch Mount. Check that out. I haven't been to their grill. And I'm a part of Core, so come down here and do cleaning, do a cleaning campaign where we pick up the trash to try to spread awareness and get the people to be more environmentally orientated because we rely on the rivers and the ocean for survival it's a tourist destination and this is the mouth of branch mouth where the Mopan and the Makal merge and become one and from henceforth 
that uh, you see up in the distance that's the belize old river and that's this is where the rutamaya race comes out and then they verged veer to the right and then head on to belize city up in the distance there's spanish lookout and other places that you get to experience for those that want to sunbathe that's a great area for them to sunbathe as well right now the river is a little um, high I would say but normally there would be like a hole say the river edge would be back towards where I'm standing towards me about 10 feet and you can sunbathe over there or you can just be adventurous and go a little bit beyond there's times when it's higher than that the river is much higher or lower it all depends someone made a little swimming pool area over there picnicking you know when you're traveling you could come and do fun stuff you know how in abroad you have like different types of um, chairs folding chairs and hammocks that rolled up to about the size of uh, two fists when you put together you can pack these different things and you can come down here and enjoy the experience apologize for the state that the place is in if you guys pick that up it's great for birding sometimes you can even hear the spider or hurl of monkeys it all depends on what time you come out to the area to experience it thanks for your time guys appreciate it bringing a little bit of San Ignacio's Santa Elena and the Cayo district to everyone and this is from Belize, Central America as well. I'm currently in Belize, Central America. Emphasis on Central America because there are certain countries that have places that goes by the name of Belize. And across the way at Santa Familia and Bulletry Village on the other side of the ri uh, river. They're not directly right next to each other. They're about, um, I would roughly say, maybe a, a five minute cab ride apart or less, and maybe a 20 minute or, or 15 minute walk apart. Ciao.